Hello my friends, so it looks like I open a can of worms uh, when I say that I will not sell the trunions as a piece alone. So I will not sell this as a part. And I tell to my customers that they have to send me the assembly of the trunion plus the tube and I will install it or and make the tube if necessary. Why I'm saying that? Well, because this tubes and these trunions are made of pot metal and pot metal with time grows and it, it expands and I think you don't imagine how much it expands let me show you some examples this was a tube and this slot when it was made was the, the sides were parallel and they were a little bit loose inside the lever so when it expanded, it expanded to such a point that now it's like a, a how you call it, a glass or, or hour uh, clock. So it's it's not parallel at all. So it have expanded at least two to three millimeters in diameter, or even four. That's why also some screw holes have exploded as you can see here this one or this one okay um, for example this you, you see is, is just held by glue it's in, a, in one million parts this tube originally is 60 millimeters across and somebody have already filed it. I have this turning that is in really good condition. It's almost it have almost no cracks because pot metal cracks when the 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 alloy has some um, lead in it. So when it, uh, and the lead was used to uh, to to avoid the metal to stick to the mold. So at the beginning of the day when the molds were very clean, um, the the alloy was not contaminated, but once it, it the, the 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 mold was getting old, some lead gets into the in the into the alloy and then it it cracks. So you can find some of them that are in pretty nice condition, and even in this condition, if you compare the tubes, you will see you will see let me okay that they have uh, here it is a one millimeter difference so in 60 millimeters it has grown at least one millimeter okay this is a good one this one maybe it grows like two to two and a half millimeters so you have this and then you have this is an example made out of aluminium when i was doing some tests let me put it in this line and this same line here look at the difference you see here um, it is sorry for the crappy video is what i have this and this so you have almost four to five millimeters of difference so if you have a, if you have this part and you want to install it on an old trunion you end up with something that doesn't fit do you see the void here it doesn't fit so that's why the trunion must be fitted to the tube and it can be done for example this you can cheat a little bit but by filing and then you can if the, if the tube is not too swollen you can cheat a little bit and make it almost fit but the, the correct uh, procedure is to make the tube and the trunion in the correct dimensions 
and to feed them and it will feed like a globe and also the tube the inside of the tube will fit correctly in the in the feed screw in the feed screw tube so it will not will, will not wobble and this lever will move freely because for example this lever on this tube was completely stuck completely stuck to the point of of uh, of uh, making it explode so that's why that's why and um i can do it it's a time consuming task uh, so it's not cheap but what i'm sure that i don't have is time to guide people to feed their own the, the, my trunions to their own uh, phonographs i'm sorry but i don't have that so much free time so that's it i will gladly install them on your on your tubes and make the, the assemblies but i will never sell them alone okay thank you for your comprehension thank you bye